Hi, uh, in this video I'd like to teach you a bit about Mercury software uh, for the visualization and exploration of crystal structure files. So when you open up the Mercury software this is what you see and there's a number of tools to play with. So here I have loaded in a crystal structure file and you can see the molecule in its three-dimensional conformation as it would appear in that particular crystal structure. So uh, let me teach you the basics of this software. Um, when you load in your structure, you can visualize it in, very, in uh, a variety of different ways. For example, uh, here I have it visualized as a wireframe, but you can also visualize it as capped sticks, ball and sticks. Um, you can have the space fill uh, where each ball is the radius of the van der Waal radii of the particular atom. So uh, here you can see chlorine, which is green, has a much bigger radius than hydrogen. Uh, but let's go back. Let's go back to the wireframe. Uh, so in the case of this molecule, you can tell which atom is which by the color. For example, you can see the white hydrogens, the carbons. Uh, Nitrogens are typically blue and then you have oxygens in red, but say we have a molecule uh, with a metal. So to see which atom is which, we can show the labels up here and we can show them for all atoms. So here you see the, the light blue is uranium or we can s show them for uh, particular atoms. So for example, for metals. Um, the labels typically are atoms, which is the most useful, but we can also label other properties of each atom. For example, the different charges, uh, uh, though the information given will depend on uh, the information that is in the crystal structure file that you load in. So for example, this one, you can't see any charges, but for other, for other molecules, uh, you may be able to see these charges. So let's go back to our original molecule. Let's hide the labels. And if one interesting feature that the software allows you to do is to measure different, uh, different information, I suppose. Uh, so for example, we can measure distances. Uh, to do this, we select measure distances in pick and mode, and then we select two atoms. And here we can see that the distance between this nitrogen and this nitrogen is 1.4 angstrom. And for example, uh, the distance between a carbon and a hydrogen should be around one angstrom. Uh, another thing we can measure is, for example, the torsion angles. So the torsion angle is, uh, if we look down this bond, the torsion angle will be the angle between the hydrogen here and the nitrogen here. So this should be about one or two degrees, in this case, two degrees. And then, for example, here, the torsion angle uh, between this carbon and this nitrogen should be about 180 degrees, or 150 in this case. It's, an, it's not perfectly flipped. Uh, you can also select atoms using the lasso tool uh, if you want to select uh, different hard to access atoms uh, for a particular measurement uh, but let's let's reset this so another thing that this software allows us to do is to explore the i suppose the crystal structure so uh, say we want to look at hydrogen bonds. We select this option down here, which is an option defined by Mercury that shows us hydrogen bonds in any given molecule. So here we can see that it detects two different hydrogen bonds. So there's a hydrogen bond between this oxygen and this hydrogen here, and vice versa on the other side. Um, we can also visualize the packing of the crystal by selecting this option here. 
So this shows us our unit cell. So the unit cell is the, the smallest, uh, I suppose, part of a crystal. Um, and say we want to visualize how the crystal will pack in any given axis. So we can go into calculate, packing and slicing, and here we can pack it in all three dimensions. So this is what the crystal would look like. Uh, these options down here allow us to orientate our view uh, in any way we want. For example, we can orientate it along the B axis of the unit cell by pressing B. Uh, same with A, C. We can rotate. Now we can zoom in and out and move the, the view around. So that's essentially the basics. Um, Mercury has a lot of different features that allow us to uh, explore the crystal structure in various different ways. Uh, one of these, uh, as an example I can give, is the voids, which will show us the, the, the voids between atoms between the Va van der Waal radius of the atoms uh, that are within this probe radius. So let's set this to 0.5 because I don't think there's going to be any voids of 1.2 angstroms. And here you can see the spaces. Okay, let's, let's reset. Um, if we want more information about the particular molecule that we have loaded in, we can go into more information and we can go into structure information. So this will give us all the information associated with the uh, SIF file or the crystal information file that we loaded in. So this is the molecule name, here's the source uh, where this molecule comes from. Um, and say there's some information that we're looking for that isn't here. Uh, we can go into customize and find that information. For example, crystal color, add it in, and it appears. In this case, this crystal doesn't have this particular information, but let's look at a few other crystals. So you can see that this particular crystal is white, and then this one is pale green. So this uh, relatively recent publication, we can see here. Uh, another cool feature of Mercury is that it allows us to approximate what the morphology of the crystal will look like. To do this, we go into CSD materials, we go into calculations, and we go into uh, this B BFDH morphology calculation. So according to this, uh, approximation, the crystal structure will look like that. Um, you can see each each face of the crystal has the HKL numbers visualized. And let's say that we know that this particular molecule forms pale green crystals. So we can change the color here uh, and then apply. So one nice feature of Mercury is that it has Povray embedded into it, which allows us to render very nice figures for our publications. So I will show you how to create these figures. So let me hide the hydrogens to have a bit of a clear representation. And let's visualize the molecule um, using ball and stick. So once we have sort of orientation that we want to render, for example, like this, we go into file, we go into Povray image, and here you have a number of options. Uh, you can set the resolution of the image. So I have I have it set to quite a big resolution because I want a sharp image. 
and you can play around with the different settings to see what the file will look like. So here it looks pretty good. I can maybe set it as iridescent. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's a bit shiny. Let's go back to let's go back to mouse. Okay, once you're happy with the preview, you can click render, see where it's saved. So the file will render. Once that's done, you can exit out of this. And here is the file. So um, it's pretty nice, but if there are some changes you want to make, for example, uh, here we can see that the labels of the HKL faces are white and the they're very hard to see. We can easily change the color of those labels in the software and re-render until we get a figure that we're happy with. So that's essentially the basics of Mercury. I highly recommend going into help and doing the tutorials as they have much more information than I was able to show here. Um, I hope this little introduction helps and have a nice day.